Let's go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 1. Praise the Lord, everyone. We are going to continue talking about the future stage of salvation in which we saw that God is one who saves us. God is one who um, rescues us from the wrath that is coming. And we saw that in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 10, that we are to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who rescues us from the coming wrath. And if you'd come to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 9, For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us that we are being rescued and we are being saved and we are appointed to receive salvation. We are appointed to obtain salvation. So in the future stage, when Jesus comes again, We receive the fulfillment of our salvation and we are rescued from wrath. And if you would come with me to Romans chapter 8, we are going to read from verse 28 to verse 30, so beautifully written. And it says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his son, that they might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. The act of giving us salvation was so beautifully planned by God. All of us, you, your family, those you work with, those who you come in contact with, all of us have the opportunity to receive salvation, to be partakers in salvation. And the Bible tells us that we were predestined for salvation we were predestined we were called we were called then justified and then he glorifies us so part of the future stage of salvation is for us to be glorified with jesus for us to stand in the presence of god's glory and to be glorified because of him those who Those who deny this opportunity by living in sinful nature and continuing to go and conform to the ways of the world rather than continuing to be conformed to Jesus. That's what the Bible tells us, that we should be conformed to the likeness of his son, conformed to the likeness of Jesus. Those who deny that will be stripped of their their rights to, to receive this glorification. And you can see that in Romans chapter 8 verse 13 that we should be led by the Spirit rather than led by the flesh. But for us who choose to follow Christ and in the present stage diligently obey and ensure that we are following Him with righteousness, with, with honesty, with humility, with truthfulness, we will see that we can live eternally and in God's glory. The Bible tells us that All things work for the good of those who love him and your obedience to his ways should come from a place of love because he loved us first, we then love him. And we are called according to his purpose and his purpose is for us to be glorified. That is what the Bible tells us, that he predestined, he calls, he justifies so that we may be glorified. And until that day comes where we see the glory of God and we are in his presence glorifying him and being glorified by him until that day comes you and i have the responsibility to make sure that we are conforming to the likeness of the son that we are upholding in his in his counsel that we are abiding in his way to those who diligently love him to those who seek after him to those who call upon the name of the lord All things will work out for good. And praise be to God that we have a good God who loves us this much. Glory to God. God bless you.